unlike for dogs trained for sport, police dog uh, has to focus on the man and can't be equipment fixated. Uh, this is Bob Camp and I, and I working on a dog, on his dog actually, uh, focusing on the man and not necessarily the equipment. Notice the dog is off for the equipment, it drops it immediately and re-engages to the man. This is the early stages of this drill. Um, obviously there are two sleeves. In later videos we're going to show you how we transition this to a hidden sleeve and eventually a wrap. Again, the main goal is to get that dog fixated on the man, get his pleasure and reward from the fight rather than actually the equipment. Obviously what we don't want is that dog to take that sleeve and run back to his daddy proud and happy thinking he did a good job. His job is to stay in the fight until his handler says it's time to let go. This drill was uh, suggested to us by Rodney Spicer from Gold Coast Canine. We think it's really effective and you can notice a sit me and sit spin put on everything. Um, this dog is obviously has extensive training uh, with the sit me and sit method. And uh, we're really happy with his progress. Good boy. Good. Very good. Very good. He might like that. I don't know about that. But you grab his feet, he won't like it. He don't like that either. You gotta flank him. But if you, uh, that seems to piss him off the most. Is just grabbing his front feet. He gets. Once again, this is step one in this process. <clears throat> um, getting that dog to uh, focus on the man, not the equipment. And we'll take it up a couple notches in videos to come. You're going to see me uh, do a little civil work at the end here. Again, getting that dog not happy with just winning the sleeve. You can see he's still looking at his handler a little bit, looking at the equipment. This process isn't complete by any means, but this is, uh, this is a good start to getting him focused on the man, not equipment.